The Undercountry Music News is an excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast, Undercountry Music, which features music from great country artists you won't hear on mainstream radio, as well as a roundup of the most interesting country music news of the week without all the fluff. To listen and subscribe to the full weekly episode, please visit undercountrymusic.com or simply subscribe to the Undercountry Music Podcast on iTunes. Let's get into it. Yeah, that's what I do here. I just uh, I just blabber my face off. And I don't know what the heck just happened, but when I said that just now, uh, my phone came alive like with that Google Now stuff where it's always listening to you and gave me some Wikipedia entry about NASA or something. Boy, uh, you know what? I don't think it was NASA they really wanted. I think it was the NUSA because it is time for the Undercountry Music News. Dang, that was good. The Undercountry Music News is where each and every week I dive into the cesspool of Google. And I slosh around in the muck, in the stinky muck. As my five-year-old son Evan likes to say, the stinky butt muck. And you know how every once in a while you can find something valuable, even in the most vile of places? Well, that's what I do here. I go on to Google. I type in the search term, country music news. And whatever websites come up on the front page of Google, under that search term, I dig into each and every one of them. And I dig past the, you know, uh, the 25 Miranda Lambert stories about what color she likes to paint her dang toenails. The Keller, Kelly Pickler equestrian pantyhose stories. The does Darius Rucker really cross dress stories. And, you know, Cole Swindale, his bowling score has improved. And I dig past all that and I find the one or two actual news stories And I present them to you, the listeners, the participants, the supporters of Under Country Music News. I don't really want to say listeners, because that sounds like this is just a one-way deal. Because if you weren't here, well, I'd do this anyway. Because, I I mean, my numbers are really low, baby. I mean, you don't do this without love for it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Anyway. You know, I get a couple from here, a couple from there, and then, you know, I I sort of smush it all together until I get a big uh, uh, nose ball of news. And then I pick it and I flick it on you. Oh, and if I come across a website that's supposed to have country music news and they got nothing but equestrian pantyhose stories, I award those failing websites with the dreaded undercountry music news wet belch of the week and it sounds a little something like this <laughs> wow i never know what i'm gonna get that one was very staccato it's like a deep staccato see what i had i had a half a rotisserie chicken with some mixed veggies uh, grilled veggies and then my wife surprised me with a little slice of cheesecake pie because I'm recording this on Pi Day. Saturday Pi Day. It should be Friday Pi Day. Every week. Anyway, let's get into it. Over at CMT, Country Music Television, there's an article about Carrie Underwood's date with a gassy, chubby dude. Okay, well, this one's definitely false. I have never dated Carrie Underwood. In other stories at at, uh, CMT, Shania brings back leopard print. Miranda's childhood dreams come true. I mean, come on, really? This is the kind of drivel CMT passes off as country music news? 
how can I not give the wet belch here? I mean, I just demonstrated it. Now I got to do it in the very first the the very first website I go to. I mean, this is just crap, people. And you know, you deserve better. I deserve better. I mean, it this is insulting to the intelligence of the fans of country music, and yet. Here they are, number one in the search results for country music news every single week, and all they do is shovel crap. Now, that's all that matters, right? Shovel crap, you're number one. No, no, no. Here's what really, really matters. Here it is. <coughs> the undercountry music news wet belch of the week is what really matters. You got to know that stuff, okay? All right. So, let's head to Taste of Country while uh, grilled veggies, cheesecake, and rotisserie chicken are still fresh in our mouth. Wade Hayes, the country artist behind the song Old Enough to Know Better, has given fans an update about his health. He's battled cancer twice and has a large part of his large intestine removed currently. I say currently as if he'll get it back someday. Uh, a lot of his liver uh, is gone now, uh, you know, and his last bout was especially bad because he got in his lymph nodes and he says he has so many surgical scars now that he looks like a baseball. That stated, he goes on to say how he feels like he has a real purpose now. Uh, not just when he performs, which he still does, by the way, but in everyday life. I'm paraphrasing because I don't want to read the the column verbatim as I'm not really sure what the legalities of that might be. Anyway, but you know, I can say, hey, I read this over here and um, this is what I read and here are my thoughts and feelings on it, which is kind of what I do here. Okay. So um, yeah. So anyway, Thank you for the update, Wade Hayes. I think we're all glad to hear that you're still out there getting it done, and maybe we should all get out there and live like we were dying. Not a Wade Hayes song, but you get the idea. By the way, I think Wade Hayes actually does not currently have cancer going on. He's got, you know, he's okay for now, so it's not like he's on his deathbed. But, man, that guy has been through the ringer, and let's, uh, let's keep him in our prayers, okay? All right. The Country Music Hall of Fame has announced an upcoming Luke Bryan exhibit. It will run from May 22nd through November 8th, entitled Dirt Road Diary. And I think I just threw up in my mouth just a little bit. And in a bit of sad news over at Taste of Country, uh, Americana artist and champion of the genre, Billy Block, has passed away at age 59. He held a weekly showcase in Nashville and hosted a long-running radio show highlighting singer-songwriters in the genre that would eventually become known as Americana. He died of cancer. Uh, May God receive you well, Mr. Billy Block, champion of Americana music. I gotta tell you, I think uh, what's going on in the world of Americana these days is a heck of a lot more interesting than what's going on in country. But who the heck am I to decide? All right, over at Country Weekly, there's a very tragic story about hit songwriter Brad Warren and his son being named in a bullying lawsuit where a child was actually so distraught that he committed suicide. Now, this story is really more about Brad Warren's son than about Brad himself. So I'm not really going to go in depth anymore into this story other than just to let you know where if it interests you, you can read more up on it. Uh, So you can just go over to Country Weekly and the news section and that whole story will be right there. All right. Uh, Also at Country Weekly, they have the title track from Christian Bush's new album, Southern Gravity, up for listening at Country Weekly. I had a listen. You know, uh, not too many bad cliches. 
to good to start. It's it's better than most of the junk pop country garbageola currently on the radio, but you know, unfortunately, that's not really saying a whole lot. You know, I mean, it, my opinion is, you know, the song's all right, uh, but you know, I pretty much forgot it by the time I shut off my computer after I listened to it, though. So, I mean, there you go. Nah, I don't know what your experience will be, but, you know, whatever. It it didn't thrill me. It didn't didn't do Jack Bupkiss for me. And there you go. All right. Over at GAC, Great America Country. Great American Country, I mean. All right, here's what they've got. Places to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The best pinks all out. That's about drag racing. Spotlight on the most influential women of all time in country music. You know what? A a list of legends. It is not news. I'm sorry. Furniture painting tips. Two different articles about Eric Church's chart positions and seven music fest- festivals you can't miss. Okay, well, this that one, uh, somewhat useful if you're into spending several several days and a small fortune in the middle of, a, of nowhere uh, in what pretty much amounts to a war zone disguised as a party to hear bands which will be coming to town anyway. But whatever, that that might be for you. But anyway, and they have three different articles that are recipes. And this is their country music news section. I mean, seriously, WTF. I, I don't have a choice but to get chubby and gassy like Carrie Underwood's date. Uh. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, anyway, but oh, by the way, I think that article earlier about chubby and gassy, uh, you're probably referring to uh, Carrie Underwood's new baby. She, I, her, her baby's been born, and it, you know, it really didn't say her baby had been born in that article. <laughs> I just chubby gassy. I, I figured it out as I kept going through the news, though. All right. Anyway, I am going to uh, tiptoe. Over to the 615, which is a subsection of Billboard.com dedicated to the music and music happenings around Nashville. 615 is the area code for the greater Nashville area. Aaron Tippin. Hey, my friend Doug Larson works for Aaron Tippin. Anyway, he is celebrating 25 years in country music with a new album called This Side of Life. There's a nice nice long article about Aaron where he talks about where he is now, his son who's a music artist, and how uh, he's not making the same mistakes now that he did early in his career. We're talking about Aaron, not his son, uh, because Aaron says he was so focused on getting to the next milestone early in his career that when he had successes, he forgot to stop and enjoy the moment he was in. And I did a lot of that myself now that I think about it. Anyway, read the whole story over at the 615. And this has been your Undercountry Music News! Thank you for listening to the Undercountry Music News. The Undercountry Music News is just a small excerpt of the weekly internet broadcast under country music where i play music and have great interviews by lesser known original country acts get on over to undercountrymusic.com where you can listen and subscribe stay under stay country